This is less than five minutes, in case you're already afraid. Um, it won't be difficult. And it's from very close to the beginning of the novel, so I'm not spoiling anything for you uh, if you haven't read it yet. In Oaxaca, he was what they called a dump kid, un niño de la basura, a child of the rubbish. He lived in a shack in Guerrero, the colony for families who worked in the dump, El Basurero. In 1970, there were only 10 families living in Guerrero. At that time, about 100,000 people lived in the city of Oaxaca. Many of them didn't know that the dump kids did most of the picking and sorting through stuff at the Basurero. The children had the job of separating the glass, the aluminum, the copper. People who knew what the dump kids did called them los pepenadores, the scavengers. At 14, that was who Juan Diego was, a dump kid and a scavenger. But the boy was also a reader. The word got around that un niño de la basura had taught himself to read. Dump kids weren't the biggest readers as a rule, and young readers of any origin or background are rarely self-taught. That was why the word got around, and how the Jesuits, who put such a high priority on education, heard about the boy from Guerrero. The two old Jesuit priests at the temple of the Society of Jesus referred to Juan Diego as the dump reader. Someone should bring the dump reader a good book or two. God knows what the boy finds to read in the Basarero, either Father Alfonso or Father Octavio said. Whenever one of these two old priests said, someone should do anything, Brother Pepe was always the one who did it. In the first place, Pepe had a car. And because he'd come from Mexico City, getting around Oaxaca was relatively easy for him. Pepe was a teacher at the Jesuit school. It had long been a successful school. Everyone knew the Society of Jesus was good at running schools. On the other hand, the Jesuit orphanage was relatively new. It had been less than 10 years since they'd remodeled the former convent as an orphanage, and not everyone was crazy about the orphanage's name. To some, Hogar de los Niños Pedidos was a long name that sounded a little severe. But Brother Pepe had put his heart and soul into the orphanage and the school, and over time most of those tender souls who objected to the name of Home of the Lost Children would certainly admit the Jesuits ran a pretty good orphanage too. Besides, everyone had already shortened the name of the place. Lost children, people called it. One of the nuns who looked after the children was more blunt about it. To be fair, Sister Gloria must have been referring to a couple of the misbehaving kids, not to all the orphans, when she muttered occasionally, Los pedidos. Surely, the Lost Ones was a name the old nun intended for only a few of the more exasperating children. Luckily, it was not Sister Gloria who brought the books to the Basarero for the young dump reader. If Gloria had chosen the books and been their deliverer, Juan Diego's story might have ended before it began. But Brother Pepe had put reading on a pedestal. He was a Jesuit because the Jesuits had made him a reader and introduced him to Jesus, not necessarily in that order. It was best not to ask Pepe 
if reading or Jesus had saved him, or which had saved him more. But Brother Pepe had never been to the Oaxaca Basarero before. In those days, they burned everything they could in the dump. There were fires everywhere. Books were useful fire starters. When Pepe stepped out of his VW Beetle, the smell of the Basarero and the heat of the fires were what he'd imagined hell would be like. Only he hadn't imagined children working there. There were some very good books in the back seat of the little Volkswagen. Good books were the best protection from evil that Pepe had actually held in his hands. You could not hold faith in Jesus in your hands. Not in quite the same way you could hold good books. <laughs>